morning everyone welcome to this new shaving review the soap I'd like to uh, showcase today it's uh, an artisan I've been following on Instagram for a few months now and uh, was kind of intriguing therefore the soap I will show you today is called Intrigue and the artisan is uh, purely skinful and handmade no sorry purely skinful and made and essentials uh, it's a small artisan from uh, Thetford in Ontario, Canada. The razor, oh, we're gonna go with another Canadian product, the Carve Razor from uh, Carve <laughs> on the E plate. Blades, treat platinum. Not the blades I prefer, but we're gonna discuss that a little bit later during the shave. The brush, Fendrian Clear and Black with Toxy Donut. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go rinse the face and we're gonna load the brush. Okay, give okay. me a second. The brush. Okay, dip in water. I'm gonna ring it. There you go. I'm gonna leave some water in it, but not much. On the tub. The artisans say, um, oh, by the way, okay, the soap is pretty hard. Um, it's not triple mill hard, but it's hard. Now, as for loading, the artisans say load for 30 seconds. It's a little much, okay. Um, there we go, okay, it's going to be more than enough. Uh, like I said, the soap is pretty hard. Also, don't load too wet. Okay, the brush was fairly dry, and it, it, if you if you load too wet, it's gonna create foam everywhere. There you go. First application. goes on fairly well soap is tallow based okay the artisan has two lines one that's dear tallow the other one that's regular tallow uh, this soap is dear tallow I've tried both soap okay first of all the soap is pretty thirsty uh, I've tried both there's not a huge difference between both with the exception of the the dear tallow develop a glossiness that the other tallow doesn't I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it They're both equally good, just, I don't know, there's, like I said, there's a glossiness in the, uh, in the deer tallow, that's not present in the regular tallow. A little bit more water. <laughs> There you go. Okay, as you can see, it creates a really rich, really thick, creamy ladder. Uh, I don't know if uh, you guys can see the sheen on it. There's a nice sheen. Okay, first pass with the grain. Okay, residual slickness is there. I know there was another review on Facebook where 
you see that the residual sickness was not present. The major issue with the soap, it ladders so, okay, the, the ladders is created so easily that it's easy to uh, underhydrate it. Uh, I spent the whole week playing with the soap and bowl ladder, face ladder. I probably got something like inside of a week, I got something like 15 to 20 ladders with it. I had a lot of time to play with it. Soap is really slick. Uh, residual slickness, yeah, absolutely no problem. It transferred on the fingers, okay. Um, Soap is thirsty, you got to be careful with it though. You're gonna give it a lot of water, it will build. You bring it to a point, you can't put enough water in it where it's gonna start losing its slickness, slickness and it's still gonna build ladder, okay? There you go, and a first pass. Um, I have no problem, okay, it's nice. My face is really slick still, uh, perfect for buffing. I'm gonna go rinse the face and I'll come back for pass number two, okay? Give me a minute. Okay, ready for pass number two, look at that. Okay, the ladders running all over the brush. <laughs> the brush kind of hard to hold actually, it's kind of slick. Okay, second pass, the face was wet. Ladder, still really, really, really nice on that. Uh, as far as ladder is concerned, is it premium soap? Pretty close, okay. Um, I have absolutely no issues at all with the ladder. Okay, second pass uh, across the grain. Now, the scent on this. Intrigue, uh, the scent is built around a fragrance. Artisan use a fragrance and start adding essential oils to it. It's a nice mix. Just gonna read there because there's a lot of there, there's a lot of notes in it. Off the off the lid, uh, the notes: blood orange, pine needle, green tea, geranium, cinnamon, uh, warm sandalwood, black pepper, tobacco, vanilla, and vanilla verbena. Uh, in the ingredients, okay, um, you can see she she put down all the essential oils she used. The essential oils, um, orange peel, pine needle oil, a geranium, Egyptian geranium,
black pepper and there's one of it I'm forgetting about black pepper and uh, oh yeah cinnamon cinnamon leaf oil not the cinnamon the, not the cinnamon the spice itself but the leaf to my nose uh, the orange peel okay you do smell that uh, normally orange peel there is a sharpness to it but in this soap the pine needles take care of that sharpness therefore the first two notes okay you recognize you will recognize the uh, the orange the orange peel the, the uh, pine needle Somewhere in there, there is a spiciness somewhere in the back. Is it the tobacco or is it the cinnamon leaf? I'm not sure. There you go. Sand strand, probably a six. Okay, somewhere around six. It's not super strong, but it's really nice. It's nice citrus. Masculine without, without being macho, it's actually it's, it's energizing as far as I'm concerned. Okay, second pass is done. What I'm gonna go do, rinse the face, come back for third pass. Give me a minute. Okay, we're back. I'm drying my face a little bit, okay, because there's lots, there's tons of water in there. See, it's still, still, it's still running. Too much water on the face right now would be detrimental to the soap. Uh, is it slick? Super slick still. Okay. Again, transfer to the fingers. You know when you apply your ladder and you don't feel the brush, the brush just glide on top of the skin, it's, it's really, really. The ladder is really protective. There we go. It's nice and thick, creamy. Oh, see, the brush is still full. Good for another one. 30 seconds low, way too much, way, way, way too much. Okay, 20, 15 seconds low, um, you're gonna have enough. Okay, third pass against the grain. Uh, the blades, the treat platinum. It's the first use. Um, I'm not using those blades longer than when used, okay? Treat Platinum once. Yesterday, uh, I had some problems with the blades. Taking one out, looking at the edge of the blade, uh, it took me three blades to get a shave yesterday. Uh, the grind wasn't even on the first two. Uh, one of the blade the first one of the edge only had was only ground on half the edge okay if you like wasting blades go ahead buy those okay if you're if you don't want to waste don't buy them they offer okay when you find a good one they offer a good a good shave But I don't see reason to buy those. Ok, 
Okay, your shave is really good. Soap, really protective. The ladder is really stable. Absolutely no problem with that. There we go. Shave is done. Face super slick. Again, okay, tread. The slickness transferred to the hand. That's a problem I found with this soap. Okay, that's probably the my biggest complaint about the soap. You need to rinse well. Okay, rinse it well uh, because it leaves residue. I wish I had my add-on block. I don't. I got to go find one of those today. Um, other than that, man, it's two brushes up for that soap. Uh, super leather. Leather is beautiful on that. Super rich, thick, protective, slick. Residual slickness is there. Everything is there. I just wish that well, it's like everything else, okay? We want the original scents. Although it's based on a fragrance, the artisan put a fair amount of time uh, boosting up that scent. What I'm going to go do now, I'm going to go rinse the face. We're going to come back for the closing. Give me a minute. Okay. Put dry the face. There we go. Uh, first thing. A little bit of tears, lemon. I haven't used it in a long time. There we go. Now, the aftershave to go with the scent. I would use, okay, this, the, the scent, the type of scent from the soap uh, goes very well with Chatillon Lux. Okay, it's, it's, it's one of these scents that would fit very well. They, they do go very well. This soap in particular, uh, Dolor de Treguet, uh, is probably the closest match I can I can remember on Apili since I dropped my bottle and there's no more Dolor, Dolor de Treguet in my house. I'm gonna go with something that it's in the same line without being too similar. It's Gracio League Square, again, another product from Chatillon Lux. It's, uh, yeah, it, they're not, they're not the same, they're just similar, and I like it. I, I, I find they match or they pair together very well. Well, guys, that completes the shave today. The soap is Intrigue from Purely Skinful and Made and Essential. Uh, dear, dear tallow base, she has regular tallow base. Down, down below will be face or face. Okay, she sells through Facebook. She's working on the Etsy page right now. Okay, it's probably gonna come in the next few months. I'm gonna put the link to her Facebook page. If you wanna buy something, okay, look at the product she has there, Messenger, Messenger her, and she she replies fairly quickly. The razor, the carve razor on e-plate, again, one of the smoothest razor out there, okay, can't go wrong. Carve razor, two brushes up. The aftershave, Okay, Chatillon Lux, Gracieux Lux Square, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. And the brush, clear and bright. Like you see, 
Still tons of soap in there. There we go. Okay, I could another easy pass on that one. Easily. Okay. 30 seconds. Too much. Way too much. With this, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys will have plenty of good, sh uh, good shaves this week. And I hope to see you back next week for another shaving review. With this, have a good week. <laughs>